guess what? I'm gonna show you two super easy bento box lunches that I take to work that help me lose 130 pounds and keep it off for nine years. I'm gonna be making PB&J fruit bonanza box and a protein express box. These are no cook, so they're super portable, quick and simple to prep, they're really tasty, and they're automatic portion control. I'm starting with the PB&J one, so this is what you're gonna need, cutie. Yeah, okay. need some sort of container or bento box. I'm using a mix of both. Everything, all the containers are from Walmart. We need half a cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt. This one is from Walmart. I also sometimes use the Costco one. You need two tablespoons, uh, sorry, two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. This one is the PB and Me that I've mixed with two tablespoons of water. I need some low-cal strawberry jam. This is the Dora one from Walmart. We need some plain rice cakes. I'm using the Quaker Crispy Mini Original. And then I need 15 grams of protein powder. I'm using this one. This is the Hoodle HTLT Sups Maple Cookie. It is the best tasting protein powder and the maple cookie is the best for flavoring Greek yogurt, which I'm gonna make a Greek yogurt fruit dip with the protein powder. Code Nicole will save you 10% off and the link is down below and they have a ton of other flavors, but this one is so good for Greek yogurt. Uh, I'm also gonna need some fresh fruit and I've got sliced strawberries and red grapes here that have both been like cleaned and everything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my fruit dip. So I'm gonna pour the protein powder into the container that I already have the Greek yogurt in. And I'm basically just gonna stir this up until it gets really thick and smooth. It makes literally the best protein fruit dip ever. Um, and I love that all of this is no cook, so you don't have to worry if you don't have like a microwave or anything, um, because often like I don't always have access to one at work. So knowing that everything, I can just throw an ice pack in my lunch pail and go, that really helps me stay on track. And so this is perfect. I'm just gonna mix this up until everything is blended. And then I'm gonna put the lid on it because it is ready to go. So there we go. Done, fruit dip. Now, we wanna put the fruit inside this bento box here. A third cup of grapes. Make sure you get enough here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the straws in this side. And then what I like to do, I bring like a fork, a spoon, and a knife. That way, cause I'm gonna do like the PB&J rice cakes and then the fruit, I can take the fork and then bink it in my dip and then eat it, you know, like. So now these are for the dippers and I'm going to basically take all of the powdered peanut butter mix and I'm gonna put it in here. And I love powdered peanut butter cause it's a great way to have peanut butter but it's like really low calorie. Like two tablespoons is like less than 60 cows. And just do like that. And then, hmm, gotta lick that merchandise there. Oh, come on, honey. Snap her up. Okay, tablespoon of the strawberry jam. This is our favorite locale jam. I like to be like a little, like a heaper, you know, tablespoon, because like, Sometimes stuff can get stuck in the container, so I always do a little heaper that way you're not missing out. And this one is the 25 calorie Dora that we look for. Yes, Dora also has like a regular, so just check, make sure it's like the 25 cal Dora. And then I take one of these, just cause you don't want it to get stale, depending on how many lunches you make in advance, you know, and pop in the fridge. So I take two of the rice cakes, and I'm gonna wrap them up and then put them in here. And then you know, like you can tuck your silverwares in there if you want or whatever. And so this is my fruit banana, PB&J fruit bonanza, what I call, ready to go. So this is what I do, like I said. I take my fruit, I dip it in the Greek yogurt dip, and then I spread the PB&J on the rice cake and I make kind of like a PB&J. You can make a sandwich or you can eat them separate. 
I eat them separate just because I like eating a lot of food. So super portable, super tasty. You can change it up because you know, that way you don't get bored. It's super versatile. And the thing is like when I first started losing weight, I had no idea what to take for lunch. I had never really taken lunch before. So it was really hard to figure out where to start. Like if I ate lunch at all, like I usually skipped it or I would just eat fast food. So then I learned about bento box lunches and I've been taking different versions ever since. Because like I said, like they're super versatile, they're portable. If you don't have access to a microwave or you have to eat lunch like on the fly, don't have a lot of time, there's no prep or anything. This is literally it. And you can just eat as you go. You can eat it all at once, you can spread it out. And because you can choose what you put in it, it's really tasty. So it makes me stick to what I'm doing because I look forward to what I'm eating all the time. So that's why bento box is like one of my favorite things to take for lunch. The calories for this one is 315 cals, three grams of fat, 42 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. And the friends, like I lost my weight with portion control, which is also what I love about bento boxes. Look, it's automatic portion control because everything goes in a container. So once you're done, even if you eat on autopilot, when the grapes are gone, you're not eating anymore because there isn't any left in the container. That's what I love. It helped me lose the weight with the portion control, what I was already doing. Um, if you want to know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link is down below and code Nicole will save you 10% off. So I'm going to pop this into my lunch pail and then I'm going to show you my protein express box. So I also always keep napkins. Let's close this up. Pop it in. And uh, this one I do on the side like. And I like to get you know, decent sized lunch pail so that I can put a lot of stuff in it. And then I have two, that way I can make a couple lunches and throw them in the fridge and I don't have to worry about prepping my lunch or being in a hurry in the morning. I'm like, oh, I got nothing to eat. These are from Marshalls or Winners. I always find they have the best lunch pails just in case you're wondering. So this one's done, honey. We're moving on. <laughs> Numero two, Protein Express, I like to call this little one. So <laughs> again, all the containers are from Walmart. Um, I got this one with the lid. I like it because it's like deep so I can put my um, little dippy container in there. And then I got another little container with a lid. We need some grapes or fruit, half cup of fruit we're going to use. Need some cucumber, light baby bales some light ranch this one is from walmart and some turkey pepperonis these ones are from costco these are our favorite they're 50 cows a stick and they don't taste like turkey so let's get started sweetheart first i'm gonna take the dip and i'm gonna do two tablespoons into this little dip container and like, again, I always go just a little slightly over because some gets put in the leftover in the container. So I want to make sure I get my full tablespoons. So there we go. And then we'll put the lid rooney and pop it in. Then we're doing two baby bells. So I like to slip those cute ones in there like that. And then we're going to wrap up the turkey pepperoni. I'm going to take a little sweet pep. Take your little wrapper <laughs> and just wrap it up real cute. Whoa. See that action? <laughs> and then I'm going to put it in like on the side like that. And now I'm going to cut. I like spears. I don't know why. I think they make cucumbers taste better. So I'm going to do about a cup of cucumber spears and I'm just going to slice them. Kind of like so, and then I'll cut them a little smaller. Um, doesn't it just make you happier, like with spears? I don't know. It's kind of like cutting a sandwich yeah. diagonally. Yeah. It makes it taste better. Exactly. So that's what I think. So there we go. There, and then I'm going to put my fruit. I'm doing half a cup of the red grapes. I basically choose whatever fruit like that I'm craving because I don't know, I, I crave fresh fruit a lot. So the right now, the grapes. If, if you can only find purple grapes like these, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. 
You know how these are called red, but they're actually purple, like your shirt. They, I'll just have you know, these are actually called red grapes. And if I would have, yeah, I know they are. But there's purple ones too. I thought you were sassing me around. I know. Yeah, there is purple ones, but why are these? But red? why do they call them red? Well, I guess this one's kind of red, and this one's purple. I thought you were sassing me there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> I was about to get sassy back. <laughs> okay, so this, we go, and then I'm gonna put this one in my container. Um, I have this. I also, this is embarrassing, but I'm gonna show you. I keep a <laughs> Ziploc bag of salt. Because, well, when I go to work, like, I'm not obviously gonna bring this salt shaker, and I like putting salt on my cucumbers, so that's in there. <laughs> that's not embarrassing. Embarrassing would, to tell them what you keep under your bed. <laughs> oh yeah, working girl express. <laughs> you can go to your cheese sandwich factory job. And make the cheese sandwiches. Probably nobody knows what movie that's from. <laughs> if you know what movie that's from, let us know. Let us know in the comments. I, I will be shocked. That's if... a friend test for me and Nicole. Yeah, I, I'm not even giving them a hint. If you know, that's pretty amazing that His you know. character works in a cheese sandwich factory. And he says, I gotta make the cheese sandwiches. For the cheese sandwiches. <laughs> okay, so for this lunch, the Everest thing, we are... I'll edit this out so it looks like you knew them. That I'm head. professional? Yeah. <laughs> So for this whole lunch, it's 287 calories, 13 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. Hence the Protein Express. <laughs> All right, so the friends. <laughs> I like your names for them. Yeah, well, they have to be fun, right? Like you have to name your lunch bento boxes, why not? <laughs> yes, put that in there, close it up. And lunch is in the fridge and ready to go, honey. No cooking, no fuss, no muss, and a tasty lunch. Weight loss should never be a punishment. You should love what you're doing. And that's why I love like the bento box lunch because it allows me to have the portion control. I can change it up so I don't get bored, put tasty stuff in so that I look forward to what I'm eating because that's the most important thing. I, in order to stay on track and get the weight and keep it off, I need it to be tasty, I need it to be quick and easy to prep, not really a lot of cooking because I don't like to cook. I need to love what I'm doing and what I'm eating and that does all of it. Don't forget cutie, go and watch This Thin and This Thin for more fun sustainable weight loss tips from me and Sassy, except I'm kind of sassy sometimes too. Um, but that's fine. And and because we're real friends losing weight into real world because we're loving our life and loving our food, that's why we've both been able to lose 130 pounds each and keep it off for nine years. Because we love it! You gotta love it. If you don't love it, you're like, mm, change it and love your food. Thanks for watching. Uh, Sass and I really appreciate your support. Thanks so much, honey. Ooh, I'll catch you in the next one, cutie. Peace it, peace it, peace it. Thank you. Wait <laughs> once. <laughs> Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.